Have you ever wondered why, despite running as far and as fast as they can, the Divine Masculine feels even more pain and loss? What if I told you that their escape isn't freedom but a deeper descent into themselves? Stay with me because today we're uncovering the eight undeniable signs that reveal why the harder the Divine Masculine runs, the more intense their struggle becomes. Hi, and welcome to Lion of Love. In this video, we're diving deep into the Divine Masculine's journey, exploring why their attempts to avoid the connection often lead to greater pain and loss. Whether you're the Divine Feminine looking for clarity or the Divine Masculine searching for answers, this is for you. By the end of this video, you'll have a profound understanding of the struggles they face and how these challenges are intricately tied to the Twin Flame path. Let's get started. Sign 1. The Bubble Phase The Bubble Phase is the magical yet pivotal beginning of the Twin Flame journey, where two souls, sharing the essence of one, come together in physical form. This phase is characterized by an intense sense of recognition, connection and oneness that feels otherworldly. It's as if time stands still and all the pieces of life's puzzle fall perfectly into place. In this phase, the shared soul begins to exchange lifetimes of experiences, lessons and emotions between the two physical bodies. This process isn't conscious, but deeply energetic as if two halves of a whole are downloading each other's essence, creating an unparalleled bond. The feeling is often described as being seen in ways never experienced before, as your twin reflects your highest self back to you. The bubble phase is not a coincidence. It's a pre-orchestrated event designed by the soul from birth. It serves as the ignition point for a journey of spiritual awakening and growth. However, the beauty of this phase isn't just in the connection, it's in what it unveils. Through this profound recognition, the shared soul begins a path of mirroring, healing and alignment, leading to the ultimate realization of divine unity across two incarnations. Sign 2. Separation and its purpose. Separation is a defining and transformative phase in the twin flame journey occurring after soul recognition, which takes place during the bubble phase. In this initial stage, twins experience an intense connection, mirroring the essence of their shared soul. However, this profound closeness often triggers deep-seated fears, unresolved wounds and ego-based patterns leading to separation. Unlike soulmates, who can remain together while working through challenges, twin flames often cannot. The intensity of their shared soul essence creates an overwhelming push-pull dynamic. This separation is not a punishment, but a divine mechanism for growth. It forces both twins to face their inner shadows, heal emotional wounds, and step into their sovereignty. Each twin flame journey is unique, and the separation phase can happen multiple times, reflecting the depth of healing required for both twins. Separation pushes twins to reconnect with their inner divinity, cultivating self-love and independence. Through this process, they align with their higher selves, enabling them to transcend the illusions of duality. Ultimately, separation prepares twins for eventual union, not just with each other, but within themselves. It's a sacred opportunity to grow spiritually, embrace their God essence, and evolve into their fullest potential. Sign 3. The Dark Night of the Soul. The Dark Night of the Soul is a profound and transformative phase of the Twin Flame journey, where both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine are forced to confront their deepest fears, wounds and truths. For the Divine Feminine, this period is marked by intense pain, soul shock and a deep sense of loss during separation. It feels as though the connection has been severed, 
leaving an emptiness that cannot be filled externally. This is not just heartbreak, it's a spiritual awakening that cracks open the soul, compelling the Divine Feminine to look inward for healing and self-love. Meanwhile, the Divine Masculine copes by running, seeking relief through distractions such as work, new relationships or escapist habits. Yet, no matter how far they run, they cannot escape themselves. Each step away leads them deeper into their own dark night, where the weight of avoidance becomes heavier, forcing them to face the very wounds they're fleeing. Both must navigate this journey individually, as no one can rescue the other. The dark night of the soul is not punishment, it's preparation. It dismantles ego and illusion, allowing both twins to find their own sovereignty and rise into the fullness of their God essence. Sign four, Divine Masculine's Journey. The Divine Masculine's Journey is a profound and often challenging path of self-discovery. When they first encounter the intensity of the twin flame connection, their instinct is often to run this isn't out of rejection, but a reaction to the overwhelming energy of soul recognition. They retreat into the metaphorical woods, seeking relief in external distractions like work, relationships, or numbing behaviors. However, the further they run, the more isolated and lost they feel. The woods symbolize the inner darkness, the unresolved wounds and fears that the divine masculine must face. Initially, the escape feels like freedom, but it gradually becomes clear that no external solution can fill the void. This realization is a turning point. The pain of running forces them to confront the very parts of themselves they have avoided for so long. Through this process, they navigate their own dark night of the soul, shedding layers of ego and fear. As they begin to heal their inner light, symbolic of their sovereignty and divine essence, emerges. This transformation allows them to step into their true power, no longer running, but walking forward with purpose. The journey from darkness to light is their awakening, preparing them for union within and with their twin flame. Sign 5. Divine Feminine's Role the role of the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame journey is one of profound self-discovery and empowerment. This journey is not about chasing or fixing the Divine Masculine, but about turning inward to uncover your own sovereignty. By focusing on self-growth and healing, the Divine Feminine begins to step into their higher self, creating a ripple effect that influences the shared energy dynamic between the twins. Surrender is the key to unlocking balance in this journey. When the Divine Feminine stops resisting and fully trusts the Divine orchestration of the connection, they release the need for control. This surrender allows the energies between the twins to harmonize, giving the Divine Masculine the space to process their own lessons and step into their own wholeness. Relaxing into the journey is essential the twin flame path can be challenging, but the Divine Feminine must remember that this is a soul journey, not one driven by ego. By embracing the process, focusing on inner healing and nurturing their own light, the Divine Feminine sets the foundation for eventual union. True harmony begins when both twins align with their own essence, creating a powerful, and balanced connection. Sign six, key insights on the twin flame journey. The twin flame journey is a profound spiritual awakening far beyond the realm of romance or traditional relationships. At its core, this connection is about rediscovering the divine essence within oneself. Meeting your twin flame mirrors your soul's deepest truths often igniting intense emotions and triggering spiritual growth. This is not merely about falling in love with another person, it's about falling back in love with your own God essence. This path is deeply challenging 
as it strips away egoic illusions and forces both twins to confront their shadows. The journey pushes you to shed outdated beliefs, heal old wounds, and embrace higher consciousness. It is often painful because it demands complete transformation, breaking you open to rebuild you into your most authentic self. Union with your twin flame is not instantaneous. It's a gradual process of mutual self-realization and alignment. Both twins must work individually to reach a place of wholeness and sovereignty before they can come together harmoniously. The separation phases, while difficult, serve a divine purpose, preparing each twin to embody their highest potential. Ultimately, the twin flame journey is not just about union with another, it's about union with yourself and your higher purpose, leading to a life of profound spiritual fulfillment. Sign seven, metaphor of the peach. The metaphor of the peach is a powerful symbol for the twin flame journey, representing the process of growth, maturation, and self-realization. Just like a peach ripening under the sun, both the divine feminine and divine masculine must undergo their own personal evolution to reach their fullest potential. At first, a peach is hard, unripe and incomplete, much like the twin flames at the beginning of their journey. They may feel disconnected or unfulfilled, searching for something outside themselves to fill the void. However, as the peach ripens, it softens, becomes more vibrant and its sweetness develops. This symbolizes the twin flame's journey of inner growth and healing. As each twin works on themselves, facing their shadows, embracing their true essence and aligning with their higher purpose, they move closer to their own ripeness. This ripeness represents a state of wholeness where they've healed, integrated and become their most authentic selves. For the twin flames, Reaching this state of ripeness is essential for union. Only when both individuals have cultivated their own inner fulfillment and sovereignty can they come together in a balanced, harmonious relationship. Just like the peach, the sweetness of union can only be fully enjoyed once both twins have reached their peak of spiritual and emotional maturity. Sign eight, final reflections. The twin flame journey is not just about love or romantic union. It's a profound spiritual awakening that collapses duality, guiding both souls towards singularity. This journey forces both the divine feminine and divine masculine to confront their deepest fears, wounds and ego-driven behaviors, ultimately leading to an awakening of their higher selves. Through this process, Duality begins to dissolve, and both souls move toward a unified, harmonious existence. The Divine Feminine's path is crucial in this transformation. As she focuses on her own healing and self-work, she unknowingly paves the way for the Divine Masculine's growth. Her journey of self-love, sovereignty and spiritual development creates an energetic blueprint for the Masculine to follow. The more she steps into her own power, the more the Divine Masculine is drawn to reflect upon his own life, often leading him to face parts of himself he's been avoiding. It's important to remember that this journey is not about fulfilling romantic desires or seeking external validation. It's a soul-level connection that transcends the ego. Both twins must undergo deep transformation stripping away illusions of separateness and embracing their true essence. The twin flame journey is ultimately about awakening to one's own divinity and walking a path of enlightenment together and individually.